Hey, bless up, bless up, fam. We have another day, another day that we can truly celebrate, and we got a day of life. So I wanted to share a few updates on the homestead. Got some feeded. I, I gave uh, some citrus, some feed, and oh my goodness, look here, y'all. I buried some stuff in here, y'all. I put some some raw dead meat down there and we got we got some animals trying to get to it. And I put it real, real deep. I was thinking they weren't gonna find it, but they only got that one, but I'm gonna have to um pack it again because um I see they trying to um get some of it. I didn't think they would find it though. But yeah they they smelling for it, they digging for it, so have to change something up around there. Planted a little um, moringa tree off one of the seedlings. It rained pretty good last night. It's looking a little tethered. Hopefully it's gonna snap back. I hear a lot of people having a lot of problems with uh, moringa. Moringa loves some people have problems with growing them from the seed. Some people got problems with growing it, period. Um, Moringa does not like cool weather. And it's been cool these last few mornings. Um, Moringa likes it nice and hot. Not a lot of water. Aerated soil. And you leave it alone once it gets established. Just leave that thing alone. So we can see everything's loving the rain. Garden slowly adding just a little bit here and there. Not really too much. Pineapple plant still looking good. Gigi wanted me to divide this right here. And I'm too scared to mess with it because I think I tried a couple of times growing pineapple, but I haven't been successful. I'm kind of just thinking about leaving it alone. And if it comes and it seems like it's doing real hard, and if it, I don't know whether it's going to come back or not because we do get cold um, here. It got cold this last winter. I'm doctoring that um, palm tree. Winter just just attacked all my palms and the citrus. That's why all my citrus are so small. And got to have patience, though. You know, you got to have patience. We did add a few more rocks. I was clearing out some land. And me and Annabelle, we brought these boulders on back. So instead of having three right here, we got a total of five. And we stack stacking those up why not just a little bit so you can see it wouldn't that be a beautiful family photo shoot or just a nice little you know photo shoot you know i don't know the photographer in me always kind of making me think about a photo shoot and stuff but the plants back here they looking good the cane of lilies the banana got a new little shoot of banana coming in right there uh allocations doing good got a bird of paradise sitting in the back right there so that's going to kind of drape up, bush out. Allocation going to come, come and kind of hang over right here. Then we got lilies. As they multiply, I'm going to break those up and just kind of spread those all. Those are cana lilies. So we're going to have flowers, flower, plume, and nice green vegetation. Going to leave this natural back here. Um, banana trees had them all tiring up. And so that's how we're going to frame it out in the background. So if you can, just imagine you have the rock setting. And then you're going to have Bird of Paradise popping up. You're going to have Alocasia. You have banana trees kind of doing this thing, thickening up. And Cana Lily is going to kind of give that tiered effect. So the high will be the banana trees. That's going to be up high. And then the Bird of Paradise will come in about mid-range along with the Alocasia. Going to divide those up as we get more and more. And then right at the, at the mid-lower level, that's going to be the cane of lilies with their stalk. So looking forward to it. Never grown in this environment, this type of soil. I never had this type of soil. I'm trying to burn as much as I can everywhere that I'm planting. Um, I had a burn pile all up here, all around here. I've been burning. Um, we've been burning trash and everything else all around this area. So that's why we got this darker content right here. Spread it out, spread it around, spread it all up through there. And yeah, so hopefully... We can, you know, add a little bit more robust 
Um, with sandy soil, it likes to drain out a lot, a whole lot fast, you know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure I take care of that. Let me bring you all over to my medicine cabinets, our men's garden, men's health garden, herb garden. As y'all can see, I'm going to eat me some salad today. Um, it's loving this rain. So butter crunch lettuce is doing excellent. Look how thick, look how thick, thick this celery is, y'all. Look how thick that girl is. Boy, she thick, thick. Look at these stalks. And I'm eating off these stalks. I mean, literally, they would be, they would all be about like this high all the way across. But I've been eating off these stalks, so they doing awesome. So these right here, this is um cilantro. Cilantro is growing real nice, real well. I forgot what this is. Is this chamomile? Yeah, you remember I put some chamomile seeds. So I, I'm just noticing this. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this cam is this chamomile? I gotta check it. I gotta check it. I think that's chamomile because I did drop some chamomile seeds in here, and I didn't think they did anything. The onions are not looking that that well. Definitely gotta harvest some of this. It's time to harvest whatever I can't eat. Of course, give it to Sean and Chickettes. Back over on this side, I have some tomatoes. They're doing real well, real nice. Um, and let's see, got a little. Cilantro kind of in there too as well. Yeah, so we're doing real good over here. It's bursting out the seams, man. If y'all remember, y'all been watching, been trying to keep up. It's bursting out the seams. Gigi's still looking good. Her stuff coming on. She, of course, she planted a lot by seed, almost everything by seed. I think all of this by seed. And then on top of that, um, she started well after I started. So it's looking real nice, real good. I got some... um chocolate mint I need to thin out over here Got some chocolate mint it's coming back nice I love the smell and the taste of it dandelion you know we grow our dandelion and I think this is I'm not quite sure what this is it might be chickweed yeah we eat chickweed too at the same time so all of this nothing but herbs nothing but herbs got some onions growing over there we got a few things just kind of popping off. So, excited to see that as well. And let me tell you something about Annabelle. I got to confess, y'all. Annabelle not doing well. On yesterday, I, I pushed her too far. And I'm going to take you down with Annabelle. Y'all need some help. <laughs> I messed up. My new pad, you know, uh, it's not really new. This one right here, I'm so excited about this one because this one here, I actually connected. I finally made a connection to that road over there. So I'm able to go down through here as it goes down. This is a beautiful walking trail. I'm loving it. Um, you can go down through here and eventually once we get down a little bit further, it crooks and turns. And then now I've made a connection all the way to that road right there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm going to take you all on a walk one day. Not today, but I'm going to take you on a walk. I still got a lot, and it's still kind of rough around, but I, I'll take you on a little walk, and so you can see that. What's up, Sean? What's up, Sean? How you doing? Y'all see Annabelle over there? Man, I ain't happy. Gigi ain't happy. None of us ain't happy. Um, look at the peach right here. The peach is trying to come back. I done hit it a couple of times, a tree fell on it, but it got one little bloom. It's not faring well, but the investment is drop it in. Over the years, we'll get the harvest, y'all. Got some plum trees over here. Remember, this whole area is surrounded by fruit, number fruit. Y'all see Pam uh, 2.0, or I don't know, I call it 3.0, but I'm gonna call it 2.0. The reason why I call her 3.0 because she's going to take it to another level um, with my Paul Mello. But we got Pam. I am still got my fingers crossed about this palm. I still see green. Wherever you see green, leave it alone. I see a little green up top right, right up in there. So I'm hoping for the best right here. Pam is doing her thing. I don't expect to get any fruit, but man, we got some fruit coming on. Got some fruit coming on. 
I know this tree is not big enough to hold that fruit. I would have to definitely put some, some support if it does uh, grow the fruit. But that cold hit it hard. I cut it back. But look at this, y'all. Look at that. Ain't that a beautiful sight, y'all? That's straight beautiful. I love it. Let me take y'all down here with the um, Pam. Got some exciting news, Sean. Sean's just trying to call me down here because he he's excited. He's expected father. We got we got some we got a couple of and today I noticed it's two hens that sitting. I'm not sure if the one is gonna stay seated, but they won't. They all cuddled up in one tote. Mind boggling. I didn't think they were gonna actually be still long enough to um nest, but looks like they nest. So look what I've done, y'all. Pray for Annabelle again. Me and Annabelle, man. So I was pushing my burn pile up because we're getting ready to drop a septic tank. I had a guy come out and take a look. Um, and he does the site plans and all that for the septic tank. But yeah, look at this, y'all. I was trying to push the pile up and I done got stuck. I'm stuck in here. It's a mess. Yeah, two zellias. And one thing about this ash clay, because remember, this whole area is nothing but burn, ashes, dust, crumbled up burn, all this whole area right here. It's good that I got it, but it's soft. With all this rain we got, it's real soft. And I'm going to have to get somebody to help me get this out of there. So uh, I'm going to have to call a few people to give me a hand uh, with getting it out, trying to get the burn pile done, trying to push it up. It was all the way out here, but I, I pushed it up. And I got caught up. So the septic tank guy, he came and laid out the flag. He says um, it would have been nice if the well was higher than the septic tank. But with the well being right here, and I'm trying to service everything right up in this area right here. Because we're going to probably build another cabin right, right up in here with this pile at. Um, septic tank is going to run from here. And from there, septic tank can be somewhere right up in here. And uh, he flagged it got to be 75 feet away. So this marks the 75 feet away from the well. And it's on the down. So even though the water comes down through here, it still continues to gra gradually go all the way down to the other side of the property. We're about middle ways. This, this, I think this is exactly middle ways in the property. Um, so it, it goes up through there, back to those woods. And then it goes all the way down, cross through there. So we got the sub tank drain field. We'll go out this way. And so that's why I was trying to push everything up and try to get everything done because we've got to try to get the septic tank in. And then I'm going to have to pull out a few things. And that marks right here, uh, the end of it with the drain field. So he said we wouldn't need that much because we don't have that many. It, it, they don't go on bathrooms. I could have had five or six bathrooms, but they look at the bedrooms. They count the bedrooms by the number of people. So every bedroom, they they view two people. So what if you got five people in there? Do you have enough septic tank? Probably not. Uh, but that's something to consider. The cost goes up, the more bedrooms, not bathrooms. So we see we got two out. So apparently... We only have one sitting. So look in here. I know it's a mess. I got to clean it out. Uh, look at those eggs sitting out there. She did those just today. Look at that. Those came just from today. They sat in there and they laid those eggs. But old girl in there, she she's sitting on, she sitting on the nest. I don't know if y'all can see her. She hadn't moved in the last three days. Let's see. Uh, you can't see her. But yeah, I see her through the little crack. She hadn't moved in the last three days. So we got one sitting. We may have some French black copper hand, hens coming. What y'all think? Sean, are you nervous? Are you nervous? You ready to be a new father? You nervous about that, Sean? Well, we are gonna see. This week, I promise you, I'm gonna clean out the um, chicken coop. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick some of this stuff up. We just been kind of feeding them as we go, any type of scraps we can get. So let's see. I think that's all I got right now as um, far as new happenings. I go down here. Remember this trail right here? I go down this trail right here. 
And um, I give you a look see. Give you a little look see if I get time. Hopefully, I won't run out of memory. But we're gonna come down through here, which eventually that trail that I showed you is gonna look just like this trail. Ain't that trail beautiful, y'all? Man, really, just look at that. Come on, man, that's picturesque. That's a photo shoot right there, you know. Right there in a the nice color, popping color, and then with that background. Man, only thing I hate about this trail is I'm gonna have to widen it. And I need to get back on this one because it's about growing up again. And I gotta open everything back up. Remember the whole property used to look like this. Used to look just like this. I've been cleaning up. If you notice, I've been getting pieces out of here. Eventually it's gonna be, it's gonna look like that without these trees. Eventually I'm gonna get all of that through there. But we making our way down. And we coming to where I want the pond to be at. So as we make our way down through here, down there is where I want the pond to be at because the water flows down through that way. And back here, I'm gonna open all of this up. Probably have like a nice little family gathering pavilion or something like that around here. We're gonna open it up, throw some grass, throw a little bit pieces right here. And look y'all, made that connection. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud and excited about this. That's the connection right there, y'all. Made that connection. I don't feel real, real comfortable walking it right now. As you can see, I got these on. And it's not all the way cleaned out. You know what I'm saying? And I lost my glasses. I don't know what my glasses are. And I can't see that well. Um, so I don't think we're going to take that chance and walk in it. But um, you know me, I'm always pushing the envelope. But I'm so excited we got this, ran into, see this is where we ran into those rocks, that, where I brought those rocks, there's still some more rocks right there, some more rocks right there. But the, these was above the ground, they was out right up in this area. So we got it, and they were heavy. They had the front of um, Annabelle kind of tilting a little bit. But um, as we go through here, yeah, we connected, y'all. Now eventually, like I said, we still got 10 acres going back this way. I have not seen these 10 acres right here. So we got 10 acres still. Let me blow it, zoom it out. Still got 10 acres going all the way back across here. Um, this is pretty much the halfway mark of the 10 acres. So more to come. Um, had a little health scare this morning. Um, send me up in your prayers. I'm, I just have these... I guess I'm overexerted. I don't get a lot of rest. Um, but yeah, this is where we are. That's going that's the connection to the path. That's gonna be beautiful, y'all. I'm gonna widen that out. Get everything widened out. I'm not walking that because it is wild back over there. And with me not having all my eyesight, I'm not gonna try it. But over here, I think we're gonna see some daylight. Hopefully some of these trees, if I don't see too many oak trees, I can still be able to knock them down. Um, but trees like this, the biggest problem is going to be are these vines. So I may have to wait till it get cool again. Uh, and we can get some of these vines and stuff to start um, going dormant. But um, we're going to see what we got. I, I see it's a little trail right there. If you can look real closely in there, it looks like a little trail. But I'm, I'm curious to see what's on the other side. We got still got 10 acres to go. So that's all I got right now. Um, Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are prospering. I hope life brings you joy. And make sure you love on your family and love those that love you and support those that support you. I thank you all for what you do, for you all watching and supporting this channel. Thank you so much. Believe me, your work and your support does not go in vain. We putting it right down in here. It's a lot to do this. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of resources. It takes a lot of time. And it takes a whole lot. And one day, one day, we shall enjoy the fruits of our labor. And one day, we will be able to share with generations to come. So, love y'all. Thank you for hopping on in. I know this was a little bit long, but I want to kind of cover a few things. But um, 
hopefully I didn't bore you all and just make sure whatever you do, make sure you keep on growing. Grow. <laughs>